Hello? Everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a video that you and me have been waiting for for a long, long time. A long, long time. This is it now. Now, for those of you that bought into the super the pseudo mint fund um some of you bought into it and cashed it in first fair um which i cashed in on the deal that i um on the deal that i gave out and it's been going on for so long now and it? it's going going on and on and on and on and on so it's no wonder that some of you have gone, do you know what, Pfft, enough with all this, I'll cash in my pseudomint fund, um, what I'll put in, etc. And um, so unfortunately, you're out, you've cashed it in, you're out. But if you decide you want to get back in again, then my suggestion would be to get in and buy the shares. All right, we've got shares available, and my suggestion is to get in there and buy some shares. And why am I saying this? Because it's actually happening. It is actually, actually happening. And you are now going to see the first steps of us taking the Royal Mint to court. It's happening, it's happening now. I've made my decision. We're going to start with a Royal Mint. When we finish with a Royal Mint, we're going to go on to Change Checker. That's exactly what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you and prove to you right now. And there you can see £25,000 sitting in the bank account with five grand just as a bit of backup. So we've got £25,000. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on payments and transfers. I'm now just going to move the... Now, I'm just moving the camera away from the screen because I don't want to break data protection and I've got a lot of uh, payees in my payee list. So, first of all, let's find the payee. And then I can put the camera back on the screen. This is this is breaking news. This is man. This is absolutely breaking news. And all we got here we are. Nante solicitors take me to make a payment. Right, back on the page. So here we go. Look at this now. Great British coin hunt. Payee name, Nante Solicitors. Their account details. There's my balance. And are you ready for this? This is one of the biggest gambles I've ever made. But I think this is a no-lose gamble, I do. I think it's an absolute no-lose gamble. £25,000. Can we see that? £25,000. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? This is the start of the Great British Coin Hunt taking the Royal Mint to court. There is no more, it might happen. It is happening now. The press release I'm gonna ask Mick to send out will tell a thousand publications that we are taking them to court, and here is the proof. Three, two, one. We press continue. There we are. Just to confirm, £25,000 to leave my account on today. 18th for the 8th, 2020. So I just have to put in my security number which I'm going to have to obviously go away from the screen on. 
we've just sent an OTP to your mobile phone. I've got to get the OTP, so I need to pause. So that's me. I've had to put in my code at the top there, and I've just had to put in my thing. Now, are we ready? This is paying the money. £25,000 being paid in cash, being paid to the solicitors to get the court action going. So no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what anybody rubbish anybody tells you and shit stirring people do, you've seen it, you know it is true. Not now. Your payment request is being processed and will show on your account and statement at the latest by the end of the next working day subject to normal bank checks. Please do not attempt this transaction again. You have successfully made a payment with the following details. Nante Solicitors, £25,000 paid back to my accounts. That's it. I ought to show this bit. There you go. We did have £25,000 in the bank. We've now got £853 in the bank with a little bit of, uh, with a, little bit of a safety net. And we have all our stuff for sale and everything else. That's it now. That's it. That's it. It's all done. All done. <clears throat> it is now paid. It is now in, as they say, in the lap of the gods and certainly in the hands of the solicitors and the judges, right? Even though I haven't raised enough money in the area that I wanted to, and I had to then, before I've even finished raising the money to take them to court, I've had to start refunding people and paying them off in goods and one thing or another for those that wanted to. So that just depleted any, you know, it took money out of the money that I was gonna sue them in with. And I totally appreciate, and I totally get it, by the way, that there's going to be people out there that just thought it was a complete and utter con, and Ian's just getting money in from suing the mint, suing the mint, and he's just putting it in his pocket. You know, Ian doesn't do that kind of thing. So, um, once again, actual 100% cast iron proof, as much as I can, proving it. No doubt there's going to be people out there that probably say, you know, I've uh, edited it in some way. Like I'm some kind of computer genius to make it look like I'm doing it, but I'm not. What can you do about that? You can't do anything. What I can just tell you is I've sent £25,000 over now, this morning, at quarter to 10 on the 18th of August, 2020, to the solicitors. That is enough money to go all the way now. Well, maybe not quite all the way, but certainly three quarters of the way, if not further than that. The money's paid, it's now in the hands of the solicitors, and it's gonna cost them whatever it costs me. So as of now, the Royal Mint are gonna start, they're gonna start spewing money. They're gonna start seriously costing money. And it's about time. So, those of you that have left your money into the pseudomint, thank you very much. And uh, I'll be grateful if you leave it there. But if you do want to take it out, anybody that wants their investments taken out, anybody that wants their pseudomints taken out and that kind of thing, you can have it in goods the way that I've explained it over and over and over and over again, the way that other people have. But what I can't do is I can't take some of this cash and pay people with it. Right, because this cash has to be used to make money with. And I've given this a lot of consideration. I could do all sorts of bobbing and weaving. I could do all sorts of wheeling and dealing over the next year or two in order to get financially out of trouble. There's a load of things that I could do. And so many things come with some kind of a risk because no matter what you do when you spend money to make money, you are gambling. It is no different to put in a tenner on a horse. You are gambling. If you've got a toy shop, you are gambling. When you go to the wholesalers and you buy all that 
5,000, 10,000 pounds worth of stock, you're taking a serious gamble. You don't know if you're going to sell it. And there's an awful lot of people out there that have to sell stock far below what they bought it for. Been there, done that, worn a t-shirt, didn't like it. We've got a case. I've got a case. I'm not asking for sympathy here, but I've been through, I've been to hell and back over the last couple of years. And there's an awful lot of it that was caused by the Royal Mint. And I seriously think it's time that they got a little bit chastised for it. What they're doing to the coin community is so wrong. It is unbelievably wrong. There are people out there that get special deals on the coins far below what the wholesale value is normally. It, it's got to stop. You've got to stop having such preferential treatment with individual sellers. Either you're a wholesaler just selling to a couple of people, a manufacturer just selling to a couple of people, or you're manufacturing and you're selling to a worldwide market and you're going to deal in fairness without any discrimination. And there's too much unfairness and loads of discrimination going on with dealing with the Royal Mint. Even the collectors don't know where they stand. And, they, and, and you don't know where you stand because they don't give you the mintage figures early. But they know how many they've made, but they don't give you the mintage figures early. They don't do that because they want to rinse the arse out of the package coin. And then they come out and say, oh yeah, we made, you know, we made 500,000 of them. We made 2 million of them for the sales market. They will rinse it and rinse it and rinse it at the cost of you and me and every coin collector out there and every coin dealer out there is what I'm doing this for. By the time we finish this court case, there is going to be fairness in the coin market that is what i'm going for there is going to be fairness so that when any of you want to buy the coins that that everybody sells like change checker etc you'll be able to buy them wholesale at a decent price and make a profit and you'll have a fair competitive market and if if dragon lord coins wants to sell it 50p cheaper than mine well he'll, that's, that's his business it'll be a competitive market because Dragon Lord Coins will be buying them for the same price I buy them for instead of just one or two people. So no doubt I'm going to be told off by the solicitor at some point and told um, I've got to stop saying this and stop saying that and I mustn't say much at all in any videos. So that's why I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one to show, to prove, yes, it gives them advance notice when they see this video today. They can go run into... Uh, they're legal, but they're legal. Their head of legal is who? Who's their head of legal? That's their head of legal. I mean, it would be a bit cheeky to say I own him. That's the head of legal. Chris Inson. He's their head of legal and I own his domain name, chrisinson.com. And I'm going to vilify him on that domain name. I'm going to tell everybody what crook he is on that domain name, head of legal, my ass. So it is now happening. I feel like I'm going to be going like that. For those of you that want to be stick with us, please do. It's been a hell of a ride so far. And this roller coaster ain't finished yet. Ian ain't done yet. On top of that, over the next year, I'm going to give away 300 Peter Rabbit silver 50 piece. And on top of that, Fran has talked me into doing a treasure hunt. She wants to do a treasure hunt. So that is coming. News on that is coming. I can't say too much about it other than it's something she would like to do. And she would like to do what she did with a Gruffalo, hide stones. And the winners of those stones actually win a silver proof. And they'll be put out different places in the country. Proper coin hunt. The Great British Coin Hunt. Um, so that's it. That's all I've come on for is to give you that news. I think it is mega, mega news. I think it's stupendous news for the doubters out there and the haters out there and all those people that did their best. To, mm, 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 you know, all of those. That's what we can say to them. It's happening now. And if you would like to get back on board or if you would like to join in, 
then just buy some of our shares. There's some shares left available and let's get these domains done and set up. You're going to start seeing all these get set up now. And I might start with some of the Royal Mint ones, being as they're the ones we're going to take to court. Remember, we own Royal Mint email, Royal Mint coin, we own Royal Mint blog, we own Royal Mint news, we own Royal Mint TV. We own a fair bit of Royal Mint. Okay, get in there, get on, support it. Those of you that support it, you could end up getting paid out. I could lose and you get nothing. Could lose, but I don't think I'm going to lose. And I think deep down, neither do you. Right, thanks very much. Onwards and upwards, as Dad says. Just wish he could have been... I'm going to say that corny thing, and I? I wish he'd been alive to see me press the button and actually take and actually know that it's happening. 25 grand. It's paid. I just paid it. It's happening. I'm going to try and give him a spanking. And I'm hoping that you back me and that you help me. I've just put 25 grand into it. If you want to put a little bit into it, please do. Thanks a lot. Join us on the show today. As a bonus, I'm just going to give a Peter Rabbit silver proof out today, just as a one-off, just as a bonus. Somebody watching the show is going to win number 1031 of a silver proof in our show today. And no one even knows that this is coming up. And everyone, by the way, in the show today can win this. Doesn't matter whether you are a moderator, doesn't matter whether you are a Chris, doesn't matter whether you are anything to do with the team. In this one, everybody can enter this one because this is going to be one of the ends. You know those ones where I write the numbers down and I, and I say to people, and you all type numbers in fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can. Well, there can't be any... There can't be any skullduggery with that, can there? So I think in, when I do any of those, I think the team should be allowed to enter that. And if anybody doesn't like that, well, you know, sue me. So uh, the team are going to be entered in that one if they join in at the time, right? Any of them that are on board at the time. And it will be that one, 103 one, right? This is the one we give away today, just for nothing. Just to celebrate the fact that we're taking the room into court. That's why we're giving that one away. So join me today at three o'clock in the show where we're giving away loads of stuff. And by the way, every month, if you look at the newsletter that Mick, Mick sent out, every month, the Great British Coin Hunt, I'm giving away a brand new, well, not about brand new. Well, it is brand new, I suppose, no matter how old it is, because it's mint condition. A gold coin. A gold 50p or a gold two pound every month. You want a bit of that? And the other gold coin that we did, we're redrawing that one. So there's going to be a win for that. All right. Thanks very much. See you at three.